Guys, welcome back to what will probably be the finale of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? I think this is a really important question for the ages that needs to thoroughly be discussed. I'm actually not sure, like, what, um, you know, like, what memories have been stolen from them exactly. I feel that, like, I feel that a lot of these memories are obviously relating to the disaster. That, that makes sense, right? That makes sense to me, at least. I feel the disaster and the reasons for having to come here, which are probably related to the disaster. Like, like why they're all like, oh yeah, lol, 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 lol. I want to live here forever, sort of thing, you know what I mean? When the group pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do oh, fuck with the exams! No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things! Do you recall? Why is she giving us clues anyway? Thinking back to what Monokuma came told us. The memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. The motives, that's what they said anyway. That's not what I'd actually pick, but that's what You're Monokuma said. about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? <gasps> Theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my I'm trying to remember what the motives all. were. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Like, it was like their families and stuff, right? So the first motive, the motive we were given was human connections. I got it. Why is that relevant, the though? The force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I fucking you hate this bit of the voice acting. Gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. They got Everyone fucked up. All those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy yeah, to... Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. Approval. Hina. Okay! Time for the next question! Um, so... What was the theme for the second motive? Um, it was like, things that happened in the past. That's when we got his weird envelopes from Monokuma. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed, so the theme this time was the past. I got it. it was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. Okay. So... How long do you Yeah, this is getting on it's going on a bit now. Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. Okay. So what was the motive for the third murder? Um the reason Celeste turned to murder was the money. She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the motive for murder was greed. I got it. It was money, wasn't it? I thought there was going to be seven deadly sins, but there's not seven of them, and only one is, so it's not. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! She's really an unpleasant character, Celeste, really, just as bad as the despair. Let's go through this case by case. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? I have no idea on this one. The motive for the case for Sakura's death was What was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? 
It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. I genuinely don't know. Um. I got it. Okay. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see, once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Yeah, it's interesting. Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. Um, I mean, I would agree to a certain degree. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other. Bringing despair to the world. Okay. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor thin line. Such is hope and despair. Okay, so hope and despair are opposites. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying okay, to change the subject? If she doesn't want us to talk about it. If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is the seed of despair is closely tied to I have no memory. idea what she's saying. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories... Because we forgot something horrible? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories. So that you would have the desire to leave. Oh uh, yeah, because before they didn't have the desire to leave, right? The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct the mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Something really bad happened. Something really fucking awful has happened. <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair. And make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Uh huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside. This is gonna be really bad, right? The outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? <laughs> I want to see too. This is really bad. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, the world's going to be like open fucked. Sesame! Behold the world beyond the school wall. This is play so the ultimate irony is inside the school's better than outside. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Um How is that possible? Um, I don't get it. How has she got this much power? What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. He's right. What, what am I looking at? This is a scene 
from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? The whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class trial. Oh, what the fuck is going on now? Genocide Jack's memory. Why is that relevant? Come on, bitches. Remember or die. What the fuck happened outside? Want us to remember or whatever, but did she remove Genocide Jack's memory? Did she remove it? Toko's memory should remove. Did she remove Genocide Jack's? They're separate entities. Is this another one of your practical jokes? That's it. I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember. Genocide Jack can remember. Actually, she might remember. Who might remember. Are you fucking night, Toko? Jesus Christ. The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places? Yeah, I mean, I actually like him more than you anyway. No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. It's because he said something. Uh, Byakia said something. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. This is really intense. I'm sorry I'm not saying a lot, guys, but it's just pretty, like, shocking and confusing. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! Oh my god. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world. More important, if you really do remember, what is it? Okay. What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? So the tragedy affected everyone? The tragedy? Oh no, you seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. Oh god. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh my fucking god. Is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big... Oh my god, this is so weird. ...started just calling it the tragedy happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. Okay, this is a bit summary, here. Yeah? I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way... There's no doubt that it was That's not a really good fucking explanation at all. Result, That's nothing. That was nothing. The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on. Exactly. A hero, I agree with you for once. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Miss Marosa, I'll play out in real time. So why don't 
you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Ah! I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Oh my god, I wish you wouldn't do that fucking hand thing. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. But how can the world just end? It's... it's the world! Oh my god, I'm not even sure I believe her! Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell oh you. fucking god. It's the story of the Togami Corporation, which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at he, She didn't mention, like, something about the family earlier, right? Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Oh, I wonder which one it could be! Correct! Well done, peasant! But, I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer! Pretty innovative, don't you think? Pretty trolling Biak, yeah. Do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Biakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? Oh my god, he's gonna be fucked. I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. Oh god, what's she gonna do to him? They couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. That just I don't believe her sense. at all. Well, I do believe- I don't- I don't know. I don't make sense. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. That's because your memory's been erased. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, were we out cold for like a year? It well, sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. It happened after we arrived. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently. So, right? we are the students that were involved in the tragedy. Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> What the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end... She has a point, we have those booklets and stuff as proof. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? We have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories were stolen from us. If what Junko says is true, if we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so, our life at Hope's Peak has been removed. I got it. If we accept that and those pictures were from true. our family dying in the disaster that happened while we were at Hope's Peak. Then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Give another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine I wish you wouldn't call me peasant, it's very rude. Lost two years worth of memories? That's right. 
You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! I want to think that too, I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but desire. I don't want to believe, I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. What the fuck is going on now? Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... surreal. Plus, Everyone's freaking out big time. Can I... Oh, fuck, I'm waiting to fucking look at the fucking things. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I don't want to believe it, but I know the evidence that reveals the time of students the time of students we lost. That would be I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? I'm gonna I think it's the notebook, because that has like Kyoko's information in, right? Or is that different to the pocketbook? Is that heroes? I don't even know which one. Just shoot that. That failed miserably. Oh, it is single class because the the it's the notebook because it's hero's notebook and it's proof that he went to like art class or some shit, right? I vaguely remember. Yeah, there we go. Pocket book was uh, Kyoko thing. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey. Why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. That is your writing, you fucking idiot. This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No. No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak, but somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either, but there's also no explanation okay, for this yeah. pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that? Is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Shit, man, I've never been to a funeral. Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragic. Oh my fucking god! I wonder what the something is. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourself. Well, to no, you tricked us into it. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. Oh my fucking god. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way... I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourself. I'm sick of expositioning. Oh my all this fucking shit. god, this took this, this, this I hate it so much. Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. When memories come apart, you should talk about the moment where you must have lost our memories. I can only think of one time after setting for the main hall the first time, and that was when I fainted. So I should gas this or something? 
think of any time other than that day. Yeah, flashback, and we just blurred out. When I, when I passed out. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on. Fuck you, Junkai. Out. I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. Okay, you did. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by. The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. You got it, honey. Two years of memories? <laughs> Gone. Which means, of course, I wonder if Kyoko and Mikado fucked. When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two Which years... Which explains all the photographs and all that kind of stuff. That's what those... Yeah, we knew this, I just said that, Kyoko. Okay? <laughs> You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's You've just been fucking with us the whole time. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. You're the one who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began. I thought about you constantly. Oh my god, she's so weird. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. Oh my god, here we go. Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. This is revelation time, guys, I think. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful... I don't care, just fucking tell me what the tragedy is. All too soon, the world... <sighs> so annoying. Do they ever As say? As you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate How did she ruin the whole world? I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. What the fuck? Everyone is capable of it, and now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway. I still want to know. To the at it's hand. pretty relevant to me. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, because this is important, and I'm only going to say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! So yeah, we, we all agreed to stay in here right. to preserve we humanity. transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! No. Someone was responsible for it's the headmaster for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? It's the headmaster. There we go. 
could only have been. So he was like, you don't want you all to die, your humanity's last hope, we're keeping you inside. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair exactly. and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise, to say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agree to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He didn't realize how dangerous those two were. He had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape. That's already despair. fucked up. He had really good intentions, Kierko's dad. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean we trapped ourselves? Well, yeah, because you didn't want to get killed by the outside world. And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro have come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. But why? Oh, because they're broadcasting it. They're broadcasting it to show everyone how fucking despair wins. Only let us live, so we could go around killing each other. Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the Fuck. world. Fuck! What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them. Which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What was the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world? Did they hijack the airwaves? Hangman's Gambit. Really? Right now? Let's hijack. Now I understand. Here we go. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began. So she was eradicating all like rebellion of hope outside. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. Let's drop a save here, guys. I think we might be getting to another bullet time battle with the mastermind. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Uh, are you serious? And they all died. Utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch. Refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their Oh my god. So we have to show hope right now. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? We were a tool to spread to the, the sickness world? of despair more. Well, sure. But I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So oh, fuck you, Junko. Fuck you. Give and take? You're so full of... And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Oh my fucking Sorry. god. That's a lie. 
I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend. Oh my fucking god. You. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so, so this was all her gold in the end. Last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair too. Like right fucking now. Truth full of despair? That's not to mention all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we we've been murdering each other. Of course we have. Nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here. Then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. She's, everything is designed to rub this in our faces. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us. I'll do anything. Just help me. A peasant begging for Oh my life. god. Oh, She's such a fucking cunt. I hate her Maybe so much. Such a travesty Great baddie, though. Great baddie. want is despair and there's no reason for it and since there's no reason there's no argument against it there's just no understanding it no argument no understanding what better definition of ultimate despair could there be wait hold on you've just been going on about whatever you feel like but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say huh you say the world's fallen apart but I haven't seen it for myself. So Hope, Makoto, yes! I don't accept it as the truth! Until you see it with your own eyes. Truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not! You go out into that world and you There's obviously people out there who give a shit because they tried to rescue. Just Even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you for the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're Fuck the you. Ones who Fuck you, Junko. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took. Actually, you did. You killed um your sister. You killed Makari. Nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasants. Say what you want about hope. But we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Hell yes! <laughs> that's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple. You stole our memories. Invented reasons exactly. to do it. I mean, it is bad that I killed each other, but they were strangers in an extreme duress. A, a fictional duress situation. Don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote... Oh, fuck. Here we go. I'm ready. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well, I'll consider that a win for me. Oh my fucking god. Even on the side of hope. Even if it's just one person. Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. Don't give up. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. What? You mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, 
Then go ahead and oh my god, what a gambit! Make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What, what do you say? Oh my god, this is awful. So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration. Fuck, you stop talking. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say, you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide. It'll be me. I'm gonna have to suck it down. Makoto, you're up. Me? Yeah. You've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone... Oh my god, this is control. awful! If a single huh? person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. Okay? I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me. But that's... Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friend? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have. Oh my god, this is really fucked up. Going against me. Guys. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, they're gonna kill him! Oh shit! Oh shit! Did I fuck up? Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death? Guys, I don't know if I failed now, but I'll drop another save anyway. No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it, the ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Okay, this isn't the vote. What the fuck is this? Make your argument. This is going to be an absorb bullet. We won't give up. Okay. As long as there's hope, we'll never give we up. We shoot hope until the ones about you. To die. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Don't lose hope now. There we go. All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. <laughs> but to live. It's moving forward. Damn right, hero, it does. Even if it's hard. Even if we're scared. We don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's yes, why. hero! No matter what. I need that's to awesome. Okay, next the up. Fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. Exactly. What matters is my own gut feelings. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we have to do this for everyone. If I were to die, that would be the end of me. I decided to have faith in my. By the way, the air outside is the only reason we're out is thanks to the air. Fuck you, Hina! Come on, snap out of it. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura she fight? You only get stronger by yes. taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. 
I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! We won't give up! As long as there's hope... If I were to die... I fucked up. That would be the end of Hope's Bird. I was gonna skip. I don't know if I fail now. I might have to reload. Fuck! I, I fast forwarded too much and forgot to absorb the bullet. So it's Toko, Biakia, and then Kyoko last. Okay, so I have to do this every time. That was the clue. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If right. Not take okay. By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, the pure in other words, as soon as I, the communal life you've all been living will be. There you go, Toko. Okay. Or Genocide Jack, I guess. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it. I always hated school. So, no matter how I look, still hate it. Oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. Okay, we have hope again. By the way, the, the only reason. Fuck you. The Fuck about the air. I don't care. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all. I can keep on living. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. We're only... There we go, Biakia. Come on. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known... We won't give up! Last one. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end. Fuck you. Fuck you so much. Junkai? You're gonna fucking lose. All of you will have to have to go into the world outside. I already said I would claim the master mind. So, what do you will you just die? Is that what you want? We've got hope, Junko. Fuck you. I didn't really know my father. So I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood. There's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of- Damn right. I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything. Does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that- No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had- Let's drop us over again. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair. Makoto is the ultimate hope. And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? What the? What the hell are you? The ultimate hope's been added to the truth bullet section so of the handbook. Cool. Your stupid faces. The stupid things you've said. The stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, 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 lame. I'm not kind of elite anything. Hope it isn't talent you develop, but... Hope it isn't talent you develop, but... But still. But like, still. Bullet time battle. The moment of truth. The ultimate hope's gonna be the last bullet. So uncool. You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Who are you? You're gross. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. You suck. What do you want? So uncool. Hope is a joke. Who are 
This is really hard, guys. Sorry if I'm talking a lot. Fuck you, Junkai. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. Final strike! The ultimate hope! hope keeps on Fuck you! Yes, that was really intense, by the way. Holy shit. I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Here comes the vote, guys. There's one long ass fucking class trial here. It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Damn right, guys. Junko is guilty. I lost? Me? No way! Oh, it can't be! Uh, um... You still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now! Well, that's just... Totally the best! Huh? So this is despair. We came to the school two years ago, created that incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. Oh, no, to come I... this far and fail at the very end. It's the most despair. ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking about? Know, Don't you I... see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. The once in a lifetime experience. It's my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True, I'm so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway. Anyway, so you're prepared to admit defeat? You think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we decided to enter the outside world with help. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> Everyone? Hey. You said that despair is contagious as any disease. However, the same is true of hope. <laughs> All you have to do is look and see how true that is. Kyoko. Uh, no, no, no. Stop it. I hate you. The spaces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one Fine. Thing. Let me say one last thing. If you guys want to get hung up on the world, hope there's no scared off my nose. Just be warned. From this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope. But there's a very fine line dividing the hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope. Of course, because we... Fine, Shut up. Shut up, that was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done, though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is to just taste this despair of death. You only get once in life, so... Don't get in my way! Here we go. The final punishment. <laughs> so this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> it's so wonderful! Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, correct me. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> A 
See you this, guys. all the previous ones at once. Oh my fucking god, this is really fucked up. Look how smiling she is as well. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Live at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. There's a bit more. Is there a new game plus? But you know, after saying it was all over, it's not that the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending awaiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off, just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. We left the court and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But, in the end... Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honours? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, but I... is this really it? Is this really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If I will force you out. In other words... I will force you out, she said, just before dropping that. It makes sense it would be our way out of here. But... But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Joko never said specifically that she'd let us out leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about! My... If something ever happened to Master, I'd take my sister and jam so far up! <laughs> hey, where's the core room? Where's the mastermind? Uh... It's over, we're just about to leave the school. <laughs> what? Leave? You can go outside? And that means me and Master can get married? And they'll give me a jaw of a baby? That's enough. Please stop. That would be greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway. Don't worry. I have no doubt we'll be able to leave here with a problem without a problem. But it's what happened after we get out that I'm worried about. <sighs> you know, in the end, I I think part of me still thinks. For serious. Maybe when we get out there we'll see everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other hand, at the side of the door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um... I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. There's also lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope to try and find it. That by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward. No matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? That's pretty much the gist of it. 
I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Tagami dynasty. I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. go. You got it. Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I can figure out the rest from there. Hey. What are we going to do if there are no more donut shops or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and mix them myself. If there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <laughs> I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just got to build one. Creation, fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yashihiro Hakagure's life story is about to begin. Yay! Thanks, Hina. You totally opened my eyes. Oh. Hey, personal space buddy, you're seriously creeping me out. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is seeped in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out of there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small. What can we do? No, we can probably do anything. We can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. Just fuck her up. Just fuck her corpse already, okay? Hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? Looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. And that's Danganronpa, guys, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, maybe a little bit more? <laughs> interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma, and I am your... I am this school's headmaster. Holy shit, so Monokuma survives and is sentient, it seems? <laughs> so, anyway, guys, that was Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, the full playthrough. If you enjoyed this playthrough, remember to tell me what you thought of this series in the comment section. Really enjoyed playing through it. I would give this game a good 9 out of 10. It's one of the best games I've played in a long time. I fucking loved it. I am going to be playing Goodbye Despair, the sequel. Maybe not right away. I'm still mulling over exactly when, but pretty soon. I might finish off Dark Souls 3 first, get it out of the way. Um, but we'll see. The Game Wish guys did vote. If you want to vote on my future playthroughs and stuff, you can support me at GameWish.com forward slash Minx. Or hit the support me link in the description. If you guys want to submit art for Danganronpa 2, a bunch of you submitted art for this. Spoiler free art please, because there was a huge issue with spoiler art for this one. It didn't actually spoil it for me, but a lot of people were complaining about the spoiler art in this game. So, um, 
Please, no spoiler art if you do do some art for Danganronpa 2. I'm going to have someone else reviewing it, and if people submit spoiler art, I'll just block them. So that, that's simple as that. You can do that by hitting the Art for Minx button in the description. Artforminx.tumblr.com And, um, otherwise I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day, and bye!